Ben Learners, this is Teacher Sharon, your TLE CSS teacher. This week, we will be dealing with the fundamentals of operating system and you're expected to identify fundamentals of operating systems and determine the different types of operating systems. What is an operating system? It is a set of programs that manage computer hardware resources and provide common services for application software. The operating system is a vital component of the system software in a computer system. Application programs require an operating system which are usually separate programs but can be combined in simple systems. Operating systems are found on almost any device that contains a computer from cellular phones and video game consoles to supercomputers and web servers. What are the different types of operating systems? First, Real-Time Operating System is a multitasking operating system that aims at executing real-time applications. The main objective of real-time operating systems is their quick and predictable response to events. They have an event-driven or time-sharing design and often aspects of both. The second type of operating system is a multi-user. A multi-user operating system allows multiple users to access a computer system concurrently. Single-user operating systems, as opposed to a multi-user operating system, are usable by a single user at a time. Being able to use multiple accounts on a Windows operating system does not make it a multi-user system. Rather, only the network administrator is the real user. The third type of operating system is multitasking versus single tasking. When only a single program is allowed to run at a time, the system is grouped under a single tasking system. However, when the operating system allows the execution of multiple tasks at one time, it is classified as multitasking operating system. The fourth type of operating system is distributed. A distributed operating system manages a group of independent computers and makes them appear to be a single computer. The development of network computers that could be linked and communicate with each other gave rise to distributed computing. Distributed computations are carried out on more than one machine. When computers in a group work in cooperation, they make a distributed system. The fifth type operating system is embed. Embedded operating systems are designed to be used in embedded computer systems. They are designed to operate on small machines like PDAs with less autonomy. They are able to operate with a limited number of resources. They are also very compact and extremely efficient by design. We already know the types of operating systems. They are real-time operating systems, multi-user operating systems, multitasking or single-tasking operating systems, distributed operating systems, and embedded operating systems. Now, what are the examples of operating systems? First example is this operating system or known as DOS. This operating system was the first widely installed operating system for personal computers. It is a master control program that is automatically run when you start your PC. DOS stays in the computer all the time letting you run a program and manage files. It is a single user operating system from Microsoft for the PC. It was the first operating system for the PC and is the underlying control program for Windows 3.1, Windows 95, 98, and ME, Windows NT, 2000, and XP emulate this operating system in order to support existing DOS applications. An example of operating system is Unix. Unix operating systems are used in widely sold workstation products from Sun Microsystems, Silicon Graphics, IBM, and a number of other companies. The Unix environment and the client-server program model were important elements in the development of the internet and the reshaping of computing as centered in networks rather than in individual computers. 
Linux, a Unix derivative available in both free software, and commercial versions is increasing in popularity as an alternative to propriety operating systems. Third examples of operating system is Mac operating system. The Macintosh, often called the Mac, introduced in 1984 by Apple Computer, was the first widely sold personal computer with a graphical user interface or GUI. The Mac was designed to provide users with a natural, intuitively understandable, and in general, user-friendly computer interface. This includes the mouse, the use of icons or small visual images to represent objects or actions, the point-and-click and click-and-drag actions, and a number of window operation ideas. Microsoft was successful in adopting user interface concepts first made popular by the Mac in its first Windows operating system. The primary disadvantage of the Mac is that there are fewer Mac applications on the market than for Windows. However, all the fundamental applications are available, and the Macintosh is a perfectly useful machine for almost everybody. Data compatibility between Windows and Mac is an issue although it is often overblown and readily solved. Next examples of operating system is Linux or GNU Linux. It's a Unix-like operating system that was developed without any actual Unix code. Unlike BSD and its variants, Linux can be used on a wide range of devices from supercomputers to wristwatches. The Linux kernel is released under an open-source license, so anyone can read and modify its code. It has been modified to run on a large variety of electronics, although estimated suggests the Linux is used on 1.882% of all the personal computers. It has been widely adapted for use in servers and embedded systems such as cell phones. Linux has superseded Unix in most places and is used on the 10 most powerful supercomputers in the world. The Linux kernel is used in some popular distributions such as Red Hat, Debian, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and Google's Android. The last example of operating system is Microsoft Windows. Windows is a personal computer operating system from Microsoft that together with some commonly used business applications such as Microsoft Word and Excel has become a de facto standard for individual users in most corporations as well as in most homes. Windows contains built-in networking which allows users to share files and applications with each other if their PCs are connected to a network. In large enterprises, Windows clients are often connected to a network of Unix and NetWare servers. The server version of Windows NT and 2000 are gaining market share, providing a Windows-only solution for both the client and server. Windows is supported by Microsoft, the largest software company in the world, as well as the Windows industry at large, which includes tens of thousands of software developers. Who can give me the examples of operating systems? Very good! They are the disk operating system, the Unix, Macintosh, the Linux, and Microsoft Windows. To check your understanding, it will verify how you learn from the lesson. This will measure how much you have learned from the entire module. Try to answer the self-check activity 1 from page 20. That's all for today. Again, this is Teacher Sharon, your daily CSS teacher.